Welcome back to Good Day. She is a legendary entertainer. Her name, Debbie Allen. She is an American treasure who is still going strong. She's acting, producing TV shows. She's running her Debbie Allen Dance Academy. She is a Kennedy Center honoree. In fact, she is also living with prediabetes herself and has a family history of type 2 diabetes, something a lot of people don't know, which is a leading risk factor for chronic kidney disease. So Miss Debbie Allen, Auntie Debbie, I like to call her, is joining us now with her uh, doctor, Dr. Joseph Vassilotti, <laughs> who is the chief medical officer of the National Kidney Foundation. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Courtney. Thank you for that warm welcome and great introduction. Of course. Nice to be in Seattle for real. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have to tell you, uh, I, when I was younger in grade school, my mother would not allow me to go to school dressed as my favorite Debbie Allen from fame. I was wearing a ballet skirt and leg warmer. She was like, you need to put more clothes on. But shout out to Debbie Allen. And I love the fact that we're joined with your doctor this morning uh, to talk about this today. <laughs> it's great. I mean, I do a lot of things, and being on Gray's Anatomy, pretending to be one of the nation's leading urologists yeah. is one thing, but to be, you know, in this situation for real is something else, and type 2 diabetes has ravaged my family. I've lost so many, along with my dad and my grandfather, to complications of type 2 diabetes, yeah. and type 2 diabetes is a big risk for chronic kidney disease. So I learned a lot joining this campaign, which asks the question, are you the 33%, one in three Americans that has chronic kidney disease and don't know it? And go on our website, minuteforyourkidneys.org, and get the information. And Dr. Vassilotti will tell you even more. Yeah, Dr. Vassilotti, I think a lot of people, that, that statistic probably takes Wonderful, a lot of people yeah. by surprise because that is a lot of people. One in three, that is, that's not a comfortable number. Yes, so, so the one in three are those at risk for kidney disease, mm -hmm. and type 2 diabetes is the most important risk condition. 40% of people with type 2 diabetes will go on to develop kidney disease, and it's so important to have that blood and the urine test yeah. to find out if you have it or not. And if you have it, whether it's mild, moderate, or severe, and what you can do about it to have better outcomes. Dr. Vassalotti, how often should people And the things we want to tests. prevent... Yeah. Yeah, so in general, once uh, a year at least is what's recommended, and depending on your unique situation, it may be more okay. uh, frequently. What we want to help people prevent is heart disease and kidney failure. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, Debbie, tell us again one more time the website where people can go uh, to get more information and to really get, bring this a little bit closer to home. Yes, minuteforyourkidneys.org. It only takes a minute, and that's just a valuable moment that you need to just cheat and give it to yourself and go and find out. Just one minute. We're going to link all of that to our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Dr. Vassilotti, thank you so much. Auntie Debbie, love you. <laughs> Cody, back over to you. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Get him back off. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you're not really.